and also the Baumia projection over Nanado. Yeah, quite interesting that uh, my friend Yao mm -hmm. suggesting that uh, some the Pi MPP should take some lessons from. So you don't get yeah. Just put him. Ah, oh, okay. It, it's like asking. Not in dress sense. No. It's like asking people to go to the brothel to take lessons. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mm. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he didn't say that. I'm sure you didn't hear it. <laughs> okay, go on. Well, that was a joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now he says it was a joke. Yeah, it was a joke. Uh. I know, I, I didn't mean it. No, okay. no, that's fine. <laughs> okay. See, uh, I'm not an electoral analyst. I do not understand some of these things. But one million votes is a project. Mm. It's legit desire. I don't see anything wrong with it. That's their desire. That's their wish. Mm -hmm. They're putting it out there. <laughs> For all you know, it has a propaganda twist as well. So Nana should not be responding to them? If I were Nana, I wouldn't have responded to it. Candidly. This is my view. For, for all you know, too, it's uh, driven by some other motives. Mm -hmm. Look, if a party sets out that project, at least for the regional party, they may be looking for more resources to be pumped in there. <laughs> <laughs> this chief. Yeah. Eastern region, they are saying 50 50 year chim. The party, the, also regional, want the regional party, <laughs> and this executive, are inviting the national leadership and the party financiers to pump in more money and cash, resources, everything in there, and see if they would achieve the resource. These are some of those things. But we can leave those things to other analysts. I'm not interested in that side. Uh, that focal thing, mm -hmm. that is where I think I should be focusing. You see, his rejoinder is suggesting that there was a complete misrepresentation mm -hmm. of what he said in the interview. I disagree. Complete? The pretty word here is complete. Yes. No, I disagree. He used those words. No, I disagree. See, that whole interview, I think, was needless. If you don't have anything to say, don't say anything. That's advice for all the politicians. He's saying that it would have been, I'm quoting, as chairman of the MPP, to be premature to speak for, to speak for me to reveal our party campaign strategy at a He did. But he did, virtually. Yeah. So I'm not... I don't think he's being fair to the journalist who did the interview. Mm. But look, what I found most serious, before I come to the question of Baumia, it's a lead role or a more prominent role. You see, okay, let me deal with that. It's the nature of the question. You see, we journalists, we are troublesome animals. <laughs> <laughs> and when we are interrogating you, are interviewing, you've got to be very sharp. The gentleman kept on pushing the Baumia thing to the fore. Mm -hmm. And the question he was asking, is it deliberate? He was putting mm -hmm. the question in a certain way. And the chairman was responding to that. OK, so the effect. He said everything is a strategy. Yes, and deliberate. And the gentleman, the journalist, was posing the question in a certain manner. So if you answer it in that direction, you are virtually telling people that this is what we intend doing, and that is deliberate. That is why that whole impression, if you like, mm. if I'm being charitable, came to the fore. And within the environment that we are dealing with, this whole thing about a nice age, is uh, ill health, which are all bogus anyway. Mm. The know. age is not bogus. <laughs> sorry, Gabby. He's, 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 sorry, sorry, he's Gabby. Sorry, Gabby. He's 70, yeah. but the ill health... No, I mean the interpretation of it, okay. the attempt to twist it for political capital, is what is bogus. Yeah, I, I no. And so within that environment, look, and let's be honest, you recall that even though President Kufo never, and I don't, I don't recall the NPP as a party ever seeking to capitalize on the perceived ill health of President, uh, former President Mills, mm -hmm. that's a Professor Mills. I don't recall that directly. Mm -hmm. There are members, rank and file, who may have done that on air. I'm talking of the party leadership. But do you recall? A significant thing that happened when at a rally, I've forgotten which rally, President Four asked who, about the whereabouts of the of candidate Mills. Mm -hmm. You recall that? Yes. You recall the significance right. of that? It was because of this division of labor. 
that was the not right here in Accra in a dental Yes, I've forgotten yeah. where it was. No. Medina. Medina. But he asked mm -hmm. where candidate Mills was. Mm -hmm. You know what effect it was? That it was playing into that whole thing. Right. At least that was the first time uh, the sitting president had done that. Some people thought it was even unpalatable because it was feeding into that perception of pre uh, Professor Mills not being fit and all the rest. Mm. This whole thing about Baumia playing a more prominent role, the chairman didn't get the drift that his answers to those questions could lead to what he claims to be misrepresentation. But the worst part, huh? the worst part was his attempt to link the lecture at the university to the party's campaign strategy. Right. <laughs> Such, it's all unacceptable, even to the university. He begins by admitting that the man did the lecture in his capacity as somebody who has a relationship with the university. Stop there. But he proceeded beyond that and said whatever he was doing there would inure to the party's benefit. And that if, this is critical, and that if in their estimation, that lecture or those lectures would not inure to the party's benefit, they would have advised or pleaded with him not to undertake it. It's not even good for the university. It's not good for the platform. Right. <clears throat> I said that was a major slip and ought not to have been uttered by the party chairman. There was a fair representation of, of, the, what, he said. of what he said, not a complete misrepresentation. Very interesting comments there. Uh, uh, yes, Paul yes, Afoko, yes. I, I'll speak to him briefly yes, because he wants to uh, say something. I want to know exactly oh, the, okay. what is on there, uh, Yes, he wants to say something, and I want to hear that one clearly from him. Uh, yes, so 30 seconds, what is it? Yeah, yeah, I was, in fact, just to build on the, the point that Kweku uh, made. Kweku made. Mm. But there's now been this impression that the Central University College is obviously an M M MPP uh, platform. You know, and it's feeling from some of these uh, comments and the fact that Baumia has done two lectures there in two years. They, they, uh, they, have, chaos, they have a particular program. Uh, I think they call it the something serious. I've forgotten the name. No, I know. I, I, I've, I've been within the university environment. I, I know that these things do happen. He's a visiting professor there. It's, it's a bit curious yes, okay. that the same person gets to deliver. He's a visiting uh, professor there. That's is. the point yes, I'm saying. That often. Uh, are you listening to me? No, I am. I'm saying he's a visiting professor. Yes, there. he's a visiting professor. Okay. Okay. So he gets yeah. to do a lecture every year. Okay, as a visiting professor. There as well. it, he did one. It's yeah, distinguished speaker one. series yeah. lecture. Anyway, let's move on. Okay. The point is let, that let's, let's, let, me to speak, let me speak briefly to Paula Foucault. Um, thank you very much, uh, Chairman. Good morning and welcome to News File. Hello. Yes, good morning. Yeah, good morning. All right. Uh, I understand that you have a reaction to the discussion about your comments of whether or not by putting oh, Baumia yes. forward is I a do. strategy. I do. Yes, what is it? Pardon? Yes, what is it? Is this on air? Yes, yes, we are listening to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. good morning. Ah. Okay, you have a TV yeah. set by you. Please... Uh, just put the volume off on the TV and then go ahead and speak. Let's listen to you, please. Yes. Um, basically, I, b before I get there, I would, I would want to say something very quickly on this IMF bailout. Oh. Uh, well, my thinking here is, is that the value of the bailout see, is we, not in the quantum of money that we have. Okay. I think it is since, I mean, since previous loans and bonds that have been issued. I mean, greater than what the IMF has given us. Okay, that point has been made. We want you to speak specifically to the issue that concerns you, sir. Very, very, very sadly. Very, very okay. sadly. Um, the value lies in the, in, the, in the supervision and oversight, the discipline that the IMF is trying to bring. Okay. To bear on our management of our economy. Thank you. Point noted. Coming, Let's go to the issue that affects you. Yeah. Discuss in terms of me and the statements I made about Baumia. First, I think that it is only proper and fair that you, you, you remove that, that thing on the screen that says that I have backtracked. I have not backtracked. That's, that's our but judgment. Said, that's our judgment. Having listened to the well, earlier okay, statement okay, okay, and what you had to say. Judgment, and I'm mm. saying, I, I, hold on. That's your judgment. And I'm saying that I did not backtrack. 
Fair. Um, let me let me let me be clear about what I said. I have learned one lesson, and that lesson is that I will not give recorded interviews any longer. <laughs> but having said that, <laughs> what I said in mm -hmm. response to a question, mm. in fact, it was in response to a series of it's questions, separated. literally all in the same direction. At <coughs> one point, I even had to ask the reporter to turn off his, his recorder, and then I asked him, I said, what is your problem? Mm. Why are you constantly pushing me on this thing about Nanato's capacity to lead the campaign and his age? That's where Kuku Baku him, says, don't speak if you have nothing to say. I, so I told him, I said, listen, one, we have clear evidence and we don't need to repeat it, that Nanato led our demonstration and walked all the way from a passport to our trading ground. That shows his fitness. In terms of his mental prowess and clarity, he, he has demonstrated that, that time and enough. Mm -hmm. In any case, when he asked whether the strategy, strategy, I, in answering him, was trying to say to him that the MPP is not a party that just bumbles along and does things on a trial and error basis. And that whatever we do as a party is being thought through. So he asked me, he said, so Baumia's rule is nothing new. Then he said to me, but increasingly, those were his words, mm. increasingly we are seeing Baumia playing a bigger and bigger role. For example, he recently he's been in the news. And I think the most recent thing that he was in the news for was the lecture at the university. I did not go on to say if that lecture, therefore, was oh. not in your to the benefit an, of the an interview. You, you would be advised not to go. Oh. I think that interview? you would go in, in oh, cap capacity. Oh. What, 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 what you have an said, an what you said on that day, sir, yeah. we have played it back to our viewers and our listeners. So it is not in controversy. Exactly no, what did you I said. Say, did I say that if he didn't go, if, if he wasn't going to ignore the benefit of the party, you would plead with him not to do it. It's, it's there. It's there. <laughs> did I say that? You didn't you want to play team. back that to you right yeah, now? No, did I say that? Okay, hold yes. on. Just hold on briefly. Play the full team. Um, let's listen You're again to, to what... I am asking you no, a question. No, no. This is my answer. My answer is to play back what you said. Okay, please. So listen to us briefly. Okay, now let's have Paula Foucault again speak to Kwachi Afre on the issues of whether Baumia is taking a, a lead role or not. See, the one you Mahmoud Baumia is actually, as we speak, being part of the preparatory work. You see, the kind of work that takes place before a full-blown campaign is such that a lot of people are playing different roles. And in playing those roles, Sometimes they are in the back room, you don't see them. Sometimes they step forward where you will see them. Sometimes they step to the side or they work in, in a team. So Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is part of our campaign work. Don't forget his background. So he is a statistician, a research person par excellence and a banker an economist so in the things he does there are things he does that you will not hear of I mean for example the lecture he gave only this past week at the university he gave that in his position in the position that he occupies with the university and also the fact that in the world of academia, he has lectured even in Oxford, in Canada, in Cambridge. He has gone to deliver lectures. So in delivering a lecture, which is in the area of his professional expertise, of course he will hit the limelight. But that is all inuring to the benefit of the party. The party will not sneer at that. The, the party has not. Is, is there not a uh, deliberate strategy to put out Baumia more? Uh, I mean, put him there at the front line. When you talk of strategy, everything that we do as a strategy is deliberate. We've deliberated it. 
we have put it together. Is is there, Everything is deliberate. I'm asking specifically: is it deliberate to put Palmyra out there to uh, push, put him more on the front line? Everything we do is deliberate. Everything we do. This. Everything we do is deliberate. Mm. Everything we do is deliberate. You ask me whether I have. I have eyes on my face, and I say, everything you see on my face is part of my face. Mm. And you want me to talk about my eyes alone? Mm. Everything we do is deliberate. But when we are going out there to deliver lectures, if those lectures will not endure to the benefit of the party, no, we will, of course, plead with him not to. But if it is going to endure to the benefit of the party, because he is going to state party positions which will help educate the future leadership of our country and at the same time provide constructive criticism for adoption by government if they are so minded to, then it's deliberate. All right, so uh, Mr. Paul Afoko. That, yeah, that's what you, you said exactly. And that's where, that's where your critics have said that was the lowest point you got to. Because you will get your critics to say, Baumia didn't go there to deliver anything at the Distinguished Speaker Series lectures, but he just went to deliver MPP position, like the NDC no. has stated um, earlier. Yes, is that what yes um, the, 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 I'm, I'm sure that your viewers and listeners heard everything that course, you yeah. had just played back. And in that playback, so, it's the rationalize. that out of 98% of what I said, uh -huh. percent is what is important to pick on, to criticize, oh. then I leave it to the judgment of your viewers and listeners. Thank you very much. I did say, hold on, I did say mm. that deliberately, this thing was going to also help in terms of constructive criticism of government. Okay, Mr. Foucault, with the greatest of respect, Mr. Foucault, if you yes. wish to amend your statement... I am fine I with it, but, but if you speak, if you wish to seek to challenge what you have already said, which you have not denied you said, then it's a difficult interview to have. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean by it's difficult interview to have? You had asked me a question earlier, whether you said something or not. I have yes. played your voice back to you, and you and said I it. Admit that, yes, and I admit that I have said yes. it, but... I said it in the context. That's why I said your listeners and viewers mm. can judge this. Okay. 100% of what I said that you take 2%. And that is what is newsworthy. Don't do it. That is what you want to dwell on. The 98% <laughs> where I say what he mean, does yeah. is even helping to train the future leaders. Future leaders of this country. That's not important. That the constructive criticism of mm. government, so that if government is so minded, okay. it can also take on what he has Well, well, Mr. Foko, Mr. Foko, what you need to know is that, that is not what you need to know is that your critics, the NDC, feel so very vindicated that they said that what Baumia went to do was politics and not economics, and they say you have now confirmed what they had to say. Well, well, well. If 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 they say that, if they say that, then of course they should also say that. They, we all feel vindicated that a year and a half ago, Baumia predicted what would happen to the economy, and it has come to pass. Thank you very much, Mr. Afoko. Uh, Afoko thank you very much for your time. Uh, Paul Afoko is the chairman of the New Patriotic Party, and that's where we end that interview, really. And we will not continue with that particular discussion. We have a few other issues to deal with, and, 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 and uh, we'll take a quick break at this point. We'll return to deal with... Um, we have two major other issues to deal with. So let's see how we're able to deal with at least one and post, uh, put the, probably put the other one forward to next week. We'll be right back. <laughs>